video we are going to see about the structures in c so what is structures in c it is one of the uh, user defined data types okay so structures they can contain logically related data items so what do you mean by logically related data items if you say integer it is purely integer if you say floating it's a different but logically related means if you take a record so for example the employee details in an employee details what are all the things that can be related with the employee his uh, employee id then his name then his pf number or his salary details all those things even if they are uh, of different data types but they are logically related okay it is of a particular employee an employee must have all these details that's what mean by logically related data if you take a student student data can be logically related how his roll number his name in which class he is studying which branch he is studying what is the semester mark what are the each paper all those things are logically related to him okay that is what said by logically related so you can define them as a whole okay it like a record so that's what structures they can contain logically related data items into a single unit the data items enclosed within a structure are known as members so when you define a structure and you define say for example structure of a student means within the student you write roll number branch all those things then that roll number branch become the member of the student okay and each can be of different data types yes the name is a string type roll number is a integer type marks are floating type like that all those things you can combine and make it as one data type so structures can be viewed as a heterogeneous user defined data type then what is meant by another one if this is heterogeneous what is the another one array is a homogeneous data type where it can store only one data type say for example if you say x of 10 and in all the values in x array they are of the same type okay if you declare float y of 20 means all the values in y y1 y2 y3 everything can hold only floating data types whereas structure you can store different data you, you can store a floating point you can store an integer you can store a string value all those things so for example here you can say here you can store a character that is string uh, character array then Uh, integer. It is an age is an integer. A branch is a character. Again, it's a the array of uh, character that is string. Then gender, one single character like that you can store. That is why it is called heterogeneous. Different types of data types put together, logically related that too. Okay. So how you can declare a structure? You can declare a structure with the keyword struct, followed by you can the user can give a name for this structure. okay so here you can do give, give the and within that you declare the members within that you declare the variable and that we call it as a member variable then you give the uh, variable because this is a name of the structure then you how to refer it you can give a variable for this name uh, so for example so structure keyword is used to define a structure struct defines a new data type which is a collection of primary and derived data types yes this is a primary whereas there is this is a uh, derived string is a derived from character so and you can use an array array of character so uh, it can consist of both primary and the derived data types so example here say struct then you give a name for that so here we have given a meaningful name student then inside we declare the variables which are of different data types and then open curly here you start with curly braces and close the curly braces semicolon with this the structure definition is over but you have to give the variable for that now we will see declaring structure variables so what is structure there are two types you can de declare a structure variable one is here itself you can give say for example struct student then you give the member uh, variables close the curly braces semicolon then after that you again give struct student you have to give the name of the you have to give the keyword struct and the name of the struct what we have given student then you can give s1 s2 so after that there is no need to refer it as student you can just refer it as s1 name 
S1, H, and so on. There is no need to call it as student. Then another one of declaring this. So this is why it is called variables. Another way you can declare variable is struct student. Then here itself. See, after this curly braces, immediately before the semicolon, you give the variable name. So both are, uh, this is uh, outside. They you are declaring this variable separately. Once the declaration is over. But here, while declaring itself, you give the, uh, define the structure variables also. Now, how you can access the members in the structure? So, by using a dot operator and by using this symbol, that is one, uh, that is like one hyphen and an arrow, okay, put together. So, you can use this also for accessing the members of the structure. So, here if you say that these are all the members. So, how you can access, see, here we have declared the variables. This is the struct, name of the structure, and then we have given the member variable. Here S1 and S2. Now, how you can access these them by using S1, that is the variable name dot inside the member variable name dot S1 dot age, S1 dot branch, S1 dot gender. Same way here, S2 dot name, S2 dot age, S2 dot branch, S2 dot. So these two will be considered different. This S1 is a separate structure structure variable which is of type student and s2 is another structure variable which is of type student so by declaring one structure you can have uh, declare two variables and each one can consist of different uh, uh, different record okay now we'll see a small example in genie see here now let me run this program so first I'll explain this program. See, this is mainly for uh, this, uh, this to show you the how a structure works and how you can access a member of the structure. Here we have given all these things, studio.h and string.h, then struct student. Here we have defined the, so this has to be defined outside the main function, okay? So struct student, we have given a name for this, and then inside we have defined the, uh, data types different data types. there is a rule number is integer name is a string which is of the character array then branch which is again a string which is of character array then marks it is an integer okay then close the bracket uh, close the curly braces and then semicolon so inside we are going to give the variable name like the first one okay uh, here like this so now struct Student, you can give S1 here also, but we are using this type. Okay, then after the main declaration, we uh, declare the struct variable, struct student, then S1. Here, after we refer only S1, not student. Okay, now print up, enter the student, we want the data for this. So enter the student rule number. So, how you can access scan of percent ID because it is an integer. Then ampersand S1 dot roll number. This is how you access the member function by using this s1 dot same way you get the value for name s1 dot name and then s1 dot branch and s1 dot marks now how you can print the same way again so the details of the student is printed roll number percentage s1 dot roll number s1 dot name dot branch and dot marks now i just i'll exude this see here it will get the it will get it will ask for the values see it has printed so it is getting the value assigning the value to the structure members and then we are printing it using again uh, that we are accessing the members and we are printing the values stored in that 